Hey there, uh, my name's Karan, I'm an artist and illustrator. Today I'm going to be talking about colour. It's something that we decode every day because we walk around the world, we see signs, we can convey moods and express our own style. So today what I'm going to talk you through is how I like to use colour. If we jump on the computer, I've got this illustration which I've drawn up. Uh, essentially it's an optical illusion of two faces coming together, which also creates this silhouette of this vase. I like to use a lot of colour in my work, so as a result, the colours white and black actually have a lot of power. So I usually reserve those for the most important things in the illustration. So in this case, considering the vase is really important, I'm going to make it black. And now that I've done that, I'm ready to start filling in the rest of the colours in. Considering the context of this image, I think that it's important that the colours reflect what I'm trying to say about the silhouette. So we could choose really dark colours to convey something a little bit more moody, but in this case, we're going to go with something really bright. So I'm choosing some really saturated, bright, playful, positive, optimistic, colors to fill the flowers in with. So I like to use a method uh, of coloring, which I call the DVD method, which is reminiscent of the little DVD icon that sort of bounces around the screen. And it means that I start in the top left and begin assigning colors to each of the shapes. So I'm gonna start with a orange on the top left. And what I'm gonna do is balance it as I go, following the DVD logo diagonally. So I'm gonna make this orange. And so the reason that I do that is as I go through the illustration, each of the colors is counterbalanced on the opposite side. And the reason for that is because most of my illustrations are quite central uh, and quite symmetrical, that as I'm going, it's not tipping to one side and the balance isn't too heavily on one side. I'm gonna continue using my little method. And now I've assigned a few different colors to the scene. Now that I've done that, I think I'd like to add a little bit more detail to the rest of the scene. I feel like the background is maybe just a little too white and I think it might be nice to connect it to the rest of the scene. I think I'm going to make it pink. Yeah, that feels a bit better. I think the other thing that's happening right now is maybe these colors feel a bit too blocky. I think it might be nice to add a little bit more detail into the central parts of these flowers because we've got so much detail in there, it might be nice to allude to them. So I'm going to zoom in. So I'm going to make this blue and again, kind of just balancing things out as I go. So the reason I balance these out is because they're opposite each other. And we can do the same here. The flowers start to have a little bit more detail about them. It's subtle, but there's a bit more intrigue. So now that I've started blocking in all the colors, it's starting to feel pretty good. And by this stage, I want to do like another scientific test that I really rely on quite a lot, which is called the squint test, which is literally just me like looking at the image from far away and squinting my eyes. And, and the purpose of this is just to make sure that everything's still being communicated clearly. I think what I'm still looking for in this test is to make sure that the contrast is there and that each of the flowers feels distinct enough. Immediately I can tell that the background, as much as it's a cool color, maybe feels like a little bit too saturated and I'd love a bit more contrast so the faces come through. So I'm going to drop the color back there, which feels better. And I feel like this section here is a little bit too yellow. So what I'd like to do is a little bit more color here. So I'm going to make this an orange. And I think this stem might be better in blue. Yeah, that's better. And I think this is a really good platform now for me to go in and add more detail to it. So if I want, I might go in and add some more patterns, I might add some more textures, just to liven up the illustration a little bit more and express a little bit more of that personality. So these are just some of the ways that I use color to distinguish my work and to express my own personality through it. And I think it's important for you to have a play and find out your own personality through color. So enjoy the ride, don't be overly precious about it, and let me know how you go. Thanks so much.